My name's Emma Bell. Um, I'm married to Dean and together we've had 13 children. We have five daughters-in-law and six grandchildren with more on the way. So we have a very busy uh, full life. I run the Birchwood Nightlight Cafe, which uh, works in relation to Life Church here. Um, we meet every Friday, uh, 52 weeks a year. Um, and every night of the week, there is a nightlight cafe open somewhere in Lincoln, um, which means that um, people can access it when they need it. I've had a background of um, mental health issues myself, um, and I had that with the support of a loving family and a loving church. Um, and so God brought me through that as well as many crises that we faced in our own family over the years. Um, my husband had um, a double suicide in his family, um, which was as devastating as you could imagine. Um, we had divorce in our extended family, redundancy, uh, the loss of our home. So we've been through a lot of stuff in life and we know how brutal life can be and that's with Jesus, um, who has kept us and held us together. And so, having had years of being at home and focusing on raising children, um, I was sort of moving into a, a period of my life where my children are getting older and um, wondering what else I could do, and had a real desire to do something in the community to help people. Uh, not like Cafe, we don't have clients, we have guests. Um, it's free, um, and it's a drop-in between 4 and 8 p.m. on a Friday here in Birchwood. Um, we have regulars, people that mostly live locally, many of them live alone um, and are living with all kinds of mental health. Um, many just come along week after week for some company, um, sometimes they want a, a chat with a volunteer, sometimes um, a one-to-one -one chat with someone more trained such as myself. Um, and uh, we deal with people on the week-to-week -week basis but also we have people that come in severe crisis. All sorts of people coming on uh, with all sorts of needs. Um, sometimes people have been a little bit surprised when they've come to find that there's a lot of laughter um, and fun and games going on. Um, I think sometimes people think that it's going to be like a, an Alcoholics Anonymous sort of thing where we sit in a circle and talk about our problems and. Um, that's not really how we operate. There is um, space for people to do that. There's space for people to unpack some of the things that they're dealing with. Um, but we also want it to be a place where people can make connections um, and just um, get to know each other. Um, we have board games and colouring and uh, music playing and lots of different activities, a snooker, uh, going on, which I'm rubbish at, so I stay out of. Um, and um, it's all really aimed at helping people um, who are really isolated um, and exhausted by battling with mental health issues. One of the things in my own experience with um, mental health, for my own journey with depression and anxiety, which God um, set me free from some years ago, um, but I learned that it is a very isolating place to be. Uh, a lot of people hold things inside either because they don't know how to talk about these things or um, many times people are trying to protect their families um, and friends, people they love because they want to shield them in some way from how they're feeling. Um, and so that can create loneliness um, in an already difficult situation. So one of the things that we uh, are taught is that we're there to listen. Uh, although we're not counselling, we are there to help people unpack um, and get things off the chest. Um, sometimes there's things there that people have been holding on to for a really long time. We've had some really heartbreaking situations. Um, I had a lady a while ago who I think had been keeping in 20 years of abuse and um, just devastating things that happened in her life um, and she talked solidly at me for about two hours and the air was blue in the office um, but that was okay because she needed to get this stuff out and she felt a lot better 
afterwards. We had a gentleman that came just as a one-off. Um, he was um, suicidal and um, really he was actually going from cafe to cafe every night because evenings were his most vulnerable time. Uh, he was on his own and he was really just trying to stay alive. Um, he was exhausted. Um, and so um, sometimes these things do take a toll. Um, and I've gone home quite a few times and had a cry. Um, we talk to people that are just desperately, desperately broken. Uh, I think life is hard for all of us. But um, for these people, a lot of them are just really on their own. So, um, But as a team, we're also offered a debrief ourselves. So we have access to people that can support us um, if it just becomes a bit overwhelming. Um, and I have the most wonderful team of volunteers, some of which go to this church. Um, they do anything from setting things out and making cups of tea, just sitting beside people and chatting about their week, uh, colouring with them, playing games with them, um, all sorts. And um, they are an amazing team of people. We are so blessed to have them. And my first night, um, a lady drove from Humberside and from the moment she walked in, it was very clear she was in real distress. So it was uh, really in at the deep end. Um, and um, we talked for about three hours. It was very intense, but she came out of that and actually relaxed a bit. She went and talked to people um, and she left visibly lighter. And we see that often with people that have been holding something in and they've got into a safe space and it's out and they're able to get some perspective as they talk. Um, maybe a few suggestions that I can bring um, and just being around people um, and letting them know that they're not on their own, that we're there for them. Um, that, that's a real blessing to see them sort of leave the end of the session visibly lighter. Um, and also we've got regulars um, we've got guests that we've really got to know well and um, we really care about them and just seeing um, baby steps often just um, little improvements in their lives as they try to um, put some things right in their lives and, and tackle these issues one by one um, and it's really encouraging to see um, people progress into a better place people um, not only need to be heard, but I realise that um, people need to be seen and known because um, a lot of people, they're on their own, they're disconnected from families for different reasons, um, and a lot of people go through life um, quite isolated. So one of the things we've aimed to do at our local Nightlight Cafe is to create a space where people know each other's names, um, you know, they're greeted with a smile, um, and we remember things about them like birthdays and things that show that they matter in this world and that people know them um, and I think there's a lot of power in that. I think mental health issues, it's, it's, it's said often these days that um, because they're invisible um, that it's not a broken leg or an obvious illness um, where people will hold the door for you and, and make allowances for that and um, so it's a, a really tricky thing for people um, who are going through these things. And while um, we have the impression that there's a mountain of support out there with GPs and so on, um, those services are actually really overwhelmed. And a lot of the people we talk to are really struggling um, to access the counselling or a psychologist or psychiatrists. And um, very long waiting lists, it seems to be... Um, an epidemic level within our society now with people struggling with all sorts of um, mental health issues and so having um, a place that you can go where it's safe where you can talk to people that are not shocked um, is actually really freeing and so if you're struggling um, with mental health if you're struggling with depression or anxiety or bipolar or the myriad of, of things that um, we can be afflicted with. Um, we want you to know that you're not alone. There's a place across the city on every night of the week, which you can find if you put in um, Nightlight Cafe. Um, it's on Facebook. Um, so there are locations across, across the city every night of the week. 
So um, we want to tell you that you have a warm welcome. You will feel accepted and cared for. Um, but also, um, there are churches that are ready to open their arms to people who um, maybe have felt on the fringes, maybe have felt disconnected. And um, the nightlight cafes are run out of churches across the city. And so we work very much in partnership with, with, um, with the churches. And uh, you'd have a warm welcome there too.